top 10 dangerous diseases lurking at the beach. Albeit an excursion or occasion at the seashore should be loaded up with fun, it can likewise be a magnet for maladies in case you're not cautious. The vast majority need to put their feet in the sand or swim in the sea, however at times, that comes at a price. Some risky microscopic organisms hang out at the seashore. In case you're not careful, you may need to stop your outing with a visit to a specialist. Here are 10 frightful maladies hiding at your preferred seashores. 10 Hepatitis Viral Hepatitis excites the liver and normally comes as a, B, or C strains. Cirrhosis of the liver can happen in extreme cases, and a few patients may eventually wind up with disease. The strains are most usually sent through fecal issue or blood, however clinical waste that is taken care of in an ill-advised way may uncover surfers and swimmers to hepatitis. According to the World Health Organization, hepatitis and is infrequently connected to recreational water, yet the chance is still there. In 2006, an investigation led by San Diego State University found that 79% of tried water tests contained hepatitis A sewage spillover in the San Diego Territory causes contamination, and inoculation programs are presently accessible for surfers in the area. 9. Legionnaire's disease Legionella microbes can be found in hot tubs since it feels best in warm water between 35 degrees Celsius, 95 degrees Fahrenheit, and 46 degrees Celsius. 115 degrees Fahrenheit. At the seashore, the best spot to get Legionnaire's ailment is in a public shower. In 2007, 7 of 36 seashore showers across southern Italy tried positive for the most well known strain of the bacteria. In 2005, an examination discovered 32 strains of Legionella in New England seawater. In spite of the fact that the microbes were not irresistible, this examination shows that Legionella discover warm seawater to be a decent living environment. Legionnaire's malady resembles pneumonia and causes hacking, fever, and muscle throbs that may keep going for as long as about 14 days. Albeit most contaminated patients see their manifestations vanish after a series of antimicrobials, around 15% of cases are lethal. 8. Stomach bugs We've all accomplished stomach bugs eventually in our lives. However, did you realize that the seashore is a decent spot to discover microbes that lead to stomach bugs? Poop is the fundamental driver of this sort of ailment at the seashore. Fecal pollution and organisms have been found in tests of sand from seashores. They likely originate from close-by sewage treatment plants or hefty tempests that have conveyed human and creature squander from the source. These stomach bugs can cause sickness and squeezing, which may even prompt gastroenteritis. Diving in the sand while at the seashore has been found to raise the danger of diarrhea. Beach guests will probably catch natural microorganisms, for example, E. coli, Salmonella, or norovirus, which is the most widely recognized stomach influenza found in America. 7. Sacarial dermatitis Sacarial dermatitis is all the more generally known as swimmer's tingle. Presentation to trematode parasite hatchlings can cause an inconsistent skin rash on the contaminated territory. You will regularly see the rash inside 48 hours of presentation, and it might stay for up to 7 days. The parasites typically taint snails and afterward work their approach to flying creatures, however people are incidentally contaminated all the while. The rash can for the most part be treated with an antihistamine. Corticosteroid cream may likewise give some alleviation. 6. Flesh-eating bacteria You've most likely caught wind of tissue-eating microorganisms being found at the seashore in the course of recent years, yet the possibility of turning out to be tainted is very low. As indicated by the CDC, the U.S. midpoints 95 instances of Vibrio vinificus contamination every year that lead to 85 hospitalizations and 35 passings. Half of those cases originate from waters over the Gulf of Mexico. The microorganisms, which can enter a swimmer's body through open injuries, makes the skin separate and ulcerate. Crude shellfish can likewise hold the microorganism, which triggers stomach agonies, the runs, and queasiness for those affected. Antibiotics normally improve a patient's odds for recuperation, however, removal might be required. The most ideal approach to dodge tissue-eating microbes is to avoid the water with open injuries and be cautious about the shellfish you eat. 5. Hookworms We love diving our toes into the sand while traveling at the seashore, however that might be a decent method to come into contact with hookworms. 
This parasite can be obtained by strolling shoeless on ground that has been tainted with human defecation or by ingesting hookworm eggs. The eggs spread any place that water moves the dirt, making the seashore the ideal area to discover them. These eggs in the long run develop into little hatchlings and attempt to lock onto creature skin. If you have hookworms, potential indications incorporate a bothersome rash, stomach torment, queasiness, weight reduction, and the runs. Hookworms can without much of a stretch be forestalled by wearing shoes on the seashore, sitting on towels when on the ground, and keeping your body washed with cleanser and water subsequent to contacting soil and sand. If you experience the parasite, pills, for example, albendazole or mabendazole should clear up the issue. 4. MRSA The warm waters and high human traffic make seashores a favorable place for methicillin safe Staphylococcus aureus, otherwise called MRSA. A bacterial sickness starts as a small knock looking like a pimple, yet it can change into an enormous abscess. At this point, it develops profound into the body and is a danger to bones and organs. In serious cases, it can transform into pneumonia or different types of respiratory pain. Minor skin diseases are normally treated with antimicrobial salves, yet more extreme cases require surgery. Swimmers in subtropical sea waters have around a 37% possibility of interacting with a type of staph. In 2012, a study demonstrated that 1.6% of their seawater tests and 2.7% of their sand tests contained MRSA. Staph expends salt as a key supplement, which is the reason it gets by in marine water longer than freshwater seashores. 3. Brain-eating amoeba Nagleria fowleri is a mind-eating one-cell critter that is really uncommon and just puts freshwater beachgoers in danger. It frequents the warm waters and soils of freshwater lakes and lakes, which implies that swimmers in marine water won't need to stress over the infection. N. Fowleri enters a swimmer's body through the nose and works its way to the cerebrum. In spite of the fact that it flourishes off microscopic organisms, it will expend whatever is before it while in the brain. Symptoms incorporate fever, cerebral pain, and spewing. The typically lethal contamination turns out to be more fierce after some time by causing seizures and mental trips before placing the individual into a coma. The CDC affirmed that solitary 34 cases somewhere in the range of 2009 and 2018 were connected to recreational waters. They even accept that it is alright to devour water that contains enfowlery in light of the fact that the acids in the stomach execute the organism right away. To bloom and algae most green growth living in the sea are innocuous, yet some produce madly awful poisons. Spillover can convey nitrogen and phosphorus into streams which triggers populous blasts known as blooms. These unsafe algal blossoms defile drinking water. Swimmers can likewise breathe in the poisons through water fume, swallow them or ingest them through the skin. A portion of the poisons assault the sensory system, while others harm the liver. Touching the green growth can create rashes and skin injuries. In any case, swimmers who breathe in or ingest the sullied water may encounter cramps, loose bowels, queasiness, hacking, and ear infections. Dinoflagellates cause the unsafe algal sprouts considered red tides that are in salt water. The synthetics delivered by these green growth can upset nerve cells and cause issue with the eyes and throat. One roundworms beachgoers additionally need to look out for roundworms. These parasites ordinarily live in your canine's digestion tracts and dung. Most people are contaminated by inadvertent ingestion, and youngsters are more regularly influenced than adults. Beachgoers won't realize that they are close to the parasite, however, the correct contact with sand could help trigger the disease. Manifestations may incorporate queasiness, heaving, hack, loose bowels, windedness, fever stomach torment, and even worms in your defecation. A few prescriptions can be recommended to help treat roundworms, and numerous medicines function admirably.